Sometimes it feels like the universe ignores your wishes, doesn't it? You start each day with hope, yet doors seem to stay closed. Ever wondered what's happening when nothing seems to go right? The frustration can be intense, but this is where things can shift. What if there's something hidden in those moments of doubt? Those empty feeling times could hold the key to everything you desire. Imagine this. Every thought and emotion you have is like a message sent out to the universe. But what happens when those messages are filled with anxiety or frustration? It's a bit like trying to make a call on a phone with no battery. But here's the good news. You can reconnect. Imagine turning that negative energy into higher vibrations, aligning your thoughts and emotions with what you truly want. The power is in your hands, and today we're going to explore how. Stick around because this could change everything. I truly believe in the power of our thoughts. The law of attraction teaches that what we think and feel draws similar experiences to us. It works like a magnet, attracting the things we genuinely believe and desire. When we focus on positive thoughts, those often reflect in our reality. But if our thoughts are negative, they can attract experiences we don't want. This law works regardless of whether we're thinking positively or negatively, so being mindful of our thoughts is essential. Sometimes I catch myself in negative thought cycles, and it reminds me that those thoughts might be shaping my reality in ways I'd rather avoid. The trick is learning to shift those thoughts toward what I really want. I like to think of the law of attraction as a mirror. What I see is simply reflecting what's within me. If my beliefs are positive, that reflection will be positive. But if I'm filled with doubt or fear, that reflection can look dark. This is why it's so important to work on our beliefs and thoughts to attract what we truly want. I've also noticed that this law seems to work best when I'm feeling grateful. When I focus on what I already have, it's like I open the door to more good things. It's as if the universe is saying, this person values what they have. Let's give them more. So whenever I feel stuck in negativity, I try to remind myself of all the things I can be grateful for. Developing a positive mindset has become incredibly important to me. I wasn't always optimistic. In fact, I used to lean toward pessimism. But once I understood the power of a positive outlook, my life started shifting. Just changing how I view things has had a major impact on my reality. Choosing optimism transforms my energy, which reflects in everything I do. Our attitude toward challenges matters too. Rather than seeing obstacles as problems, I now see them as chances to grow and learn. This new perspective has changed my experiences. When I face a difficulty, I remind myself that it might lead to something good. A positive mindset affects not only my life, but also my relationships. When I'm feeling positive, that energy spreads to those around me, creating a supportive atmosphere. This positivity attracts even more good energy, and I've noticed that my friends and family respond to it, creating a cycle of optimism. One of the best things about staying positive is the resilience it builds. When things don't go my way, I don't give up. I find the strength to keep moving. I've learned that a positive attitude helps me face adversity with confidence. Now, I start each day with positive thoughts, listing things I'm grateful for, which fuels me for the day ahead. This simple habit has made a huge difference, showing me that a positive mindset is a choice I can make every day. Creative visualization has become a powerful tool in my life. By closing my eyes and picturing my goals as if they're already achieved, I feel deeply connected to my desires. It feels like I'm signaling to the universe that I'm ready for what I want. This practice helps me focus and strengthen my commitment. Emotion is key to visualization. It's not just about picturing success. It's about feeling the emotions tied to it. When I visualize success, I feel a sense of joy and motivation to work harder for my dreams. That emotional link makes visualization more effective. Creating a visualization board has also helped. I gather images and words that represent my goals. 
putting it somewhere I can see daily. Each time I look at it, I feel renewed energy and focus. Visualization has also taught me the power of belief. If I don't truly believe in my desires, visualization is less effective. So I've worked on my self-esteem and confidence. The stronger my belief, the more effective visualization becomes. I like to practice visualization before bed. Taking a deep breath and imagining my goals helps me relax and plants positive thoughts in my subconscious, influencing my mindset the next day. Creative visualization has become essential to my routine, and the results speak for themselves. Using powerful affirmations has shifted my thinking. By repeating positive phrases that support my self-worth, I'm reprogramming my mind to accept the best in myself. At first, saying things like, I am capable, or I deserve success, felt odd. But over time, I saw the impact. As I began using affirmations, I noticed changes in my life. Each time I said something positive, I sent a clear message to my mind and body that I was open to good things. What I love about affirmations is that I can personalize them to fit any situation, keeping me focused and motivated even in tough times. Journaling my affirmations has made them even more powerful. Writing them down gives them weight and a sense of commitment. I review them regularly, seeing how I've grown and evolved. Incorporating affirmations into my morning routine sets a positive tone for the day. This helps me approach any challenge with confidence. Affirmations have become a key part of my life, improving my emotional and mental well-being. Learning detachment and flow has changed how I approach my goals. I used to think I needed to hold on tightly to my desires for them to happen, but I've realized that letting go often brings more peace. By practicing detachment, I see that I don't have to stress over my goals. I can trust the process. This doesn't mean giving up on my ambitions, but letting go of the anxiety that can come with them. Allowing things to flow has brought a sense of calm I hadn't felt before. I've also learned that what we want isn't always what we need. By letting go of strict expectations, I've found unexpected opportunities that have taken me down more rewarding paths. This openness has made me more receptive to life's hints and chances, leading me to unique and valuable experiences. Learning to detach has given me freedom. I don't feel pressured to control everything, allowing myself to be open to life as it unfolds. Gratitude is simple, but can have a huge effect on our lives. We often focus on what we don't have, overlooking all that we do. Practicing gratitude helps us recognize our blessings and can even attract more good things. When we start counting even the small positives, our perspective changes. Every morning, I spend a few minutes thinking about what I'm grateful for. It could be something small like the smell of coffee or a good conversation. This habit lifts my mood and spreads positivity to those around me. Gratitude acts like a magnet for good experiences and people. I've also seen how gratitude strengthens relationships. Thanking others builds connections and fosters mutual respect. It's not just about receiving, it's about sharing appreciation with others, creating a cycle of positivity. Writing in a gratitude journal has been eye-opening. By noting down my blessings, I can look back and see the good things even during challenges. This practice keeps me grounded and reminds me of the positives, even in tough times. Gratitude connects me to the present moment, helping me appreciate life as it is, not as I wish it would be. This focus on the present is crucial for manifesting what I desire in life. Shifting our perspective can be one of the most empowering things we can do for ourselves. Challenges can often seem overwhelming, but by viewing them as chances to learn, we can reshape our experiences. Instead of seeing failure as proof of inadequacy, we can view it as a necessary step toward growth. When I encounter setbacks, I try to ask myself, what lesson can I take from this? This shift in perspective allows me to see things differently, often uncovering solutions I hadn't seen before. For example, a work issue once left me feeling frustrated, but when I approached it as an opportunity, it became a chance to build new skills and strengthen my resilience. Reframing challenges this way has also helped me develop a more positive outlook. 
Rather than feeling like a victim, I remind myself that I control how I respond to every situation. This approach motivates me to keep pushing forward, even during difficult times. In the end, each challenge can be a hidden teacher, offering valuable insights. This change in perspective also affects those around me. When I share my new outlook, it often inspires others to look at their situations in a fresh way. Our conversations become more meaningful, and together, we start seeing opportunities instead of obstacles. Our connection deepens as we're all open to a wider perspective. Ultimately, shifting perspective isn't about ignoring problems. It's about facing them with curiosity and openness, which is crucial for personal growth. The way we choose to view the world can make the difference between feeling stuck and feeling empowered. Inspired action connects our positive thoughts with the achievement of our goals. It's easy to assume that simply visualizing or expressing gratitude will lead to results. But while a positive mindset is vital, concrete steps are necessary. The key is to act from a place of inspiration, not duty. When I feel a spark of motivation, I act on it immediately, knowing that creative energy can quickly fade if left unused. For instance, when I get an idea for a project, I avoid overthinking and start with a small step, whether it's creating a checklist or doing a bit of research. This simple action often generates a flow of creativity that keeps me moving forward. Inspired actions don't have to be grand. Even small steps can lead to big changes. I've learned to appreciate each bit of progress, no matter how minor. Every time I take action, I feel aligned with my intentions, confirming that I'm on the right track. Combining positive thoughts with tangible steps is essential for making goals a reality. It's also important to follow our intuition when making decisions. Sometimes inspired action isn't obvious and requires us to pause and reflect. Taking time for meditation or silence helps me connect with my inner guidance and choose steps that are meaningful to me. Answers often come when we're calm and receptive. Finally, I know that inspired action doesn't always produce immediate results. It's a continuous process that takes trust and patience. By staying connected to my goals and taking steps that align with them, I'm setting the foundation for the future I want. Positive thinking combined with inspired actions is a powerful formula for building the life you desire. Energy and vibration impact many aspects of our lives. Everything in the universe, including our thoughts and feelings, has a vibrational frequency. Recognizing this lets us intentionally raise our vibration making it easier to attract positive experiences. Personally, I've noticed that paying attention to my energy level influences the quality of my life. I raise my energy by doing things that make me feel good, like playing sports, listening to inspiring music, or spending time with positive people. Each of these activities lifts my vibration. When I'm aligned with positive energy, attracting what I want becomes easier. The key is identifying what lifts my mood and incorporating it into my daily routine. I've also learned to be mindful of outside influences that might affect my energy. Sometimes, we encounter situations or people that drain us. Setting healthy boundaries is essential for maintaining a high vibration. When I surround myself with supportive people who share my values, my energy rises and my goals feel more achievable. Practicing gratitude is another effective way to raise my vibration. Focusing on the positives and appreciating what I have aligns my energy with abundance. This improves my emotional state and connects me with a frequency that aligns with my goals. Meditation has become a vital part of my routine. It helps me quiet my mind and connect with my inner self, which boosts my energy and aligns me with what I desire. Ultimately, our energy is a powerful tool that can shape our lives when used thoughtfully. Meditation and mindfulness have become essential tools for me on this journey. Initially, I found it hard to make time for quiet moments as my mind raced with thoughts and worries. But daily practice has helped me focus on my intentions and connect with my desires. Meditation isn't just about sitting still. It's about listening to my inner self. 
Each session clears my mind and releases built-up tension. Practicing mindfulness has taught me to stay present, observe my thoughts without judgment, and focus on what I want to manifest. Learning to stay in the moment has allowed me to see opportunities I might have missed otherwise. The clarity that meditation provides lets me identify and replace unhelpful thought patterns with ones aligned with my goals. Visualizing my goals during meditation has strengthened my belief in their possibility, keeping me motivated. Creating a positive environment has been essential to my journey. Initially, I didn't pay much attention to my surroundings, but I soon realized that my physical space impacts my energy and my ability to focus on my goals. I noticed certain areas of my home felt heavy while others felt uplifting. By removing items that no longer resonated with me and adding elements that spark joy, like plants, bright colors, and meaningful photos, I transform my space into one that supports my intentions. I also realized how important it is to be around supportive people. Relationships have a strong influence on our energy, so I choose to be around people who inspire me and share similar aspirations. A positive environment extends beyond physical space to the media and information I consume. By focusing on uplifting content, I maintain an open mindset receptive to new opportunities. Limiting beliefs have often held me back, like shadows blocking my path. Recognizing that thoughts like I'm not good enough or I don't deserve success were simply beliefs, not truths, was a significant first step. I began identifying and questioning each belief. Where did it come from? Was it actually true? This process allowed me to release outdated ideas and build a new, empowering narrative. To replace limiting beliefs, I use daily affirmations that reinforce my abilities and self-worth. Repeating phrases like, I am capable of achieving my goals, has gradually replaced my critical inner voice with encouragement. Learning about the psychology behind beliefs gave me tools to reshape them, helping me approach new challenges with curiosity instead of fear. Group manifestation has become one of the most powerful aspects of my journey. Initially, I saw manifesting as a solo task, but I found that working with others amplified my intentions. Joining a group with shared goals created a supportive community that kept me motivated. Regular group sessions to share and visualize our goals generated a strong, positive energy. Each member's support made me feel more confident and committed to my path. Listening to others' experiences broadened my perspective, showing me new approaches to my own challenges. Celebrating each other's progress created a cycle of positivity that pushed us all forward. Group manifestation taught me the value of shared responsibility and mutual encouragement. I now actively seek group opportunities for manifesting, knowing that collective support strengthens my own